There. That was like pulling teeth. Have you ever wondered how a whole home surge protector is installed? Stick around and today we're going to show you. Okay, so here is a whole home surge protector um, rated to go in the panel. This one snaps right into the panel or goes right in through a half inch knockout and the manufacturer recommends it to go underneath a 20, no more than 30 amp breaker near the top of the panel. So let's go ahead and install it. So we're going to go ahead and start by removing our front cover. So, let's go ahead and open the surge protector up. Now, surge protectors are great devices when it comes to surges. And what I mean by surges is what we also call a brownout. And a brownout is caused by an overload on the electrical system supplied by the utility when there's too much of a demand on a single transformer and it causes what we call a brownout or a light dimming. So what this does is it protects against voltage spikes, low and high, and protects your home's electrical system. Now, don't confuse this for a lightning arrest or a lightning protector. And the manufacturer, a lot of the manufacturers of these uh, whole home surge protectors will advertise that they protect against lightning strikes. So I just want to take a little second and talk about lightning strikes. Now you can see on the front of this that it does indeed have a little lightning symbol on it. And yes, to some effect, they will protect against a small lightning strike that hits the line down the road. So a voltage spike. Don't confuse this for something or anything on the market that will protect you from a lightning strike that is going to hit your house. If lightning is going to hit your house or hit your service directly, it's probably going to do a lot of damage and there's nothing that you can stick in your panel that's going to protect you from that. So I'm talking about the type of lightning strike that's going to blow your meter off the house or blow the breakers out and we've actually seen that, that they hit close enough. However, if you do get a voltage, uh, a voltage spike down the line, like let's say lightning hits down the road, then yes, these are possible that they can protect you from that. But that's a broad term, so don't get that wrong. If lightning actually hits your house that close, there's nothing on the market that you're going to get, uh, unfortunately, that's going to protect you. <coughs> so this simply has a little screw in knockout, pops out there. Um, it has two hots, a neutral, and a ground. So the two hots are going to go underneath the breaker, uh, the neutral under the neutral bus, of course, and then the ground underneath the ground bus. It also has a little indicator light on the front of it that lights up green when it's okay, and if it goes white, then it's telling you it's time to replace it. Obviously, it's because this means that it's taken one too many hits, um, and you're going to need to replace it. So now we have our panel cover off. The manufacturer is recommending that we put the breaker near the top of the panel. So this isn't the top of the panel because this panel is up, actually upside down. The main breaker is down here. So we're going to go somewhere in around this range. Uh, there's a spot here, an empty two spots for the breaker. So we're going to go ahead and put it in there where it's close to the top of the panel. And in this case, I'm going to use a 20, which is recommended. Now this could be up to a 30 because it is 10 gauge wiring on this, I believe. No, it's actually 12 gauge, so we're going to stick with the 20 just to be safe. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this into the panel. So now that we have that out of the panel, move our other wires up out of the way. And we'll go ahead and slide our surge protector in. One can never have too many surge protectors because they are a good investment. So 
So as you can see, we have our ground here. We're gonna go ahead and stick our ground in up into our ground bar. We'll go up over the top of the panel and then stick it in the other side here just because it's easier. And tighten that down. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick our neutral on. I'm gonna shorten that up a little bit. Just because it's way too long. Stick that underneath the neutral terminal. So obviously if you guys decide to go with whole hearts home surge protection, you should get your electrician to install this for you. This isn't something that you should do yourself. Although it is quite simple. Um, and then we're going to stick our two hots in underneath our double pole 20 amp breaker. Give our surge protector 240. The, the surge protector itself will take the hit um, instead of the devices that are hooked in the house. We're going to go ahead and stick that under. And I actually have one of these on every panel of my house, believe it or not. Because you can never have too much protection. And by the way, the cost on these is in around 250 bucks, um, but worth every penny. Light, the green light has come on, indicating that it's working. And then we have it tied underneath our double pole 20 amp breaker. Our neutral is going up to our neutral spot and our ground is going over to our ground. So, we'll go ahead and put our cover back on. And there you have it. It's as simple as screwing our cover back into place with our new spot for our double 20. And I'm gonna to have to obviously relabel surge protector. And it's that easy, folks. There you go. Surge protectors are a great way to protect your home for years to come. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.